Thank you so much for being right there with us. Going back to our discussion with Dr. Sunil Shroff. Dr. Shroff, in terms of Tamil Nadu, pin it down for me. Give me some numbers. What are the numbers like? In the last, since October 2008, the Tamil Nadu government has formed a network mm. where they have connected all the private hospitals with the government hospitals. Mm. And in the last about two years, we have been able to do 154 organ donors, mm -hmm. which has translated into 900 different organs. It is not a small number. Mm. Today, you know, when we talk of organ donation, we talk of organ donation rate per million. The highest organ donation rate is done by a country called Spain, of course. Spain. You know Spain. Mm -hmm. of, they do about 34 per million donation rate. Tamil Nadu last year managed to do one per million donation rate. This is the first time we have reached that figure. Previous to that, we were having 0 0.05, 0 0.06 per million donation rate. Last year, we crossed that milestone of one per million donation but rate. How did that happen? What happened was we signed a memorandum of understanding, own foundation, with you know General Hospital, and we put three counselors in General Hospital, round the clock, and in in that hospital we were able to do almost 30 donations in a year. 30 donations means almost one donation every week. We start, we sign the contract, you know, MOU in February, mm -hmm. and uh, up to you know. Last year, you know, December, we were able to do about 26, 27 donations in a year. Right. But having said this, uh, Dr. Shroff, are you trying to say that it all depends on how the counsellors approach the patients? Is that where the secret lies? Absolutely. How they talk to the family. Right. How they are able to explain the concept of brain death. How they are able to explain where the organs are going to go. How it is going to be utilised. What is going to be the procedure afterwards. How they are able to support the family as the death happens and as the whole procedure happens that is the key thing and that is where you know we need to focus because there are a lot of things we can do for organ donation in this country the two key things which we can do is we can publicize it and educate the media through you know television and through the print media and the second thing which we can do is we can you know appoint trained people to talk to the families so-called counselors so-called mm -hmm. transplant coordinators if we're able to do that I'm sure to a large extent, we can take care of the organ shortage in this country. Right. But how in the world do you or your counsellors actually prepare somebody, a family, they're going to lose their patient, they're going to lose their loved one. Surely that cannot be an easy thing to do. Extremely difficult. I would imagine. Extremely difficult to approach the, on the subject of organ donation. But what happens is, in a very traumatic situation, where you know, the family is distraught because a loved one, young loved one is dead, if you look at it you know, and tell them that, look, the only positive aspect of this death is going to be our donation. Mm. Sometimes they say yes to donation. Out of, you know, if you speak to the family properly, what we have had, these our conversion mm. figures in GH has been almost 66%. That's good. That's, That's a pretty good figure. We are very encouraged. Yes. Similarly, we have had other hospitals in, in, in you know, Tamil Nadu where we have trained counselors another corporate hospital mm. where we've had a huge donation rate. So general hospitals and another corporate hospital put together, we have managed to get, get 89 donations last year. Which, you know, and now with this success, what's been happening is other states are looking at it and they want to duplicate the same success. So are you saying that Tamil Nadu is the number one state in this country? Tamil Nadu, yes, for indeed is number one, followed by Andhra Pradesh, where again, again we have an office of Mohan Foundation. We have done, last year we've done 100 donations, not 100, I mean, last year, yes. but over the years in Andhra Pradesh, mm. last year we achieved 100 don donors. And there again, we've done extremely well. Again, we have trained counselors. So this, you know, kind of mod model where we can f get, you know, focused on certain areas of need where the organ donation, you know, sh can be, you know, where we can pick up the rate would be the area where we should focus. Itself. Right. What about India as a whole? Where does India as a whole stand in terms of organ donations? As far as disease donations is concerned, very low as you know, compared to the Western world. We will have to duplicate the Tamil Nadu model in many states to be able to reach somewhere. We are aiming that we should do one donation per million population, which means that we need 1,100 donors because we are a population of 1.1 billion country. So we need to do 1,100 donations. We've done 89 in Tamil Nadu. That means we need to duplicate this model in various states. And this is where Mohan Foundation is working towards. Right. Uh, you talked about Andhra Pradesh. What about the other states of our country uh, in the terms of Mohan Foundation? Is it looking seriously at going around the country? Yes, we want to go pan-India now. Mm -hmm. Because we have looked at this, you know, pilot, our pilot project in Tamil Nadu and Andhra Pradesh has worked well. So we are actually getting requests from other states to come and work there, like, you know, places like, you know, Punjab, Delhi, you know, 
and you know uh, Maharashtra and other places, we are getting requests from people that why don't you come and help us develop a model which we can follow in our state, and so the, you know the rate will go up. Obviously. Right. Why do you think, doctor, that there are some states that are have better figures in terms of organ donation as opposed to other states? I mean, is this coming back to what I was saying? Is this a real problem for a family? Is it an ethical issue for the family? I think it is not. That's my gut feeling. Really? I think it is more to do with how you approach the family, how the PR exercises during the time of death in that hospital. I think even in North, the army hospitals are doing well. Really? Yes. So, you know, I think it is more of a personal issue. It's more of a personal equation, how the counselors are able to relate to the families. Right. From your experience, do you find that uh, families are reluctant? Do they sometimes look on this as an intrusion in a way? I, I'm getting ready to face something really uh, major, catastrophic in my, in terms of my uh, emotional, you know. Uh, yes, it, to a large extent, you know, sometimes it is. Initially, there's a shock when they are asked, of, obviously. And, you know, what, what happens, we, we, the training, you know, the counselors go through is such that, you know, they give them time to, you know, let the whole thing sink in. And sometimes we'll only ask for eyes first. And then we'll see the reaction of the family. And if they say yes to eyes, then we'll ask for other organs. So we, there are various kind of strategies which is followed by the counselors. A trained counselor knows when to push and when to stop. Mm. You know, and they will slowly push the family towards organ donation because there's no, nothing else you can do. And more so, you know, sometimes in a post-mortem case mm. where the body is going to be cut up anyway, there's no choice. You know, if there's going to be a post-mortem, then obviously, you know, you, if you tell the family, look, if some organs can be utilized to give somebody else a second chance in life, it'll be wonderful. That, that's the most important thing. And, and I think that is really thing. the most important message that you are conveying Absolutely. here to our viewers as we have Absolutely. talked this morning. Dr. Shroff, I'd like to thank you very much indeed. May your tribe increase because uh, I'm sure that what you are doing, you and others like yourself, it's a very, very important thing that we should be looking at in our country. Thank I you. appreciate your time thank today, you. so thank, thank you, you very much indeed. Well, that's all we have time for here on WeConnect. It's been great to have you join us on this program. You do that every single Friday night at 9.30. We'll be right back with you. We'll talk to people who are interesting, who are fascinating, and definitely people who matter in our lives. So until the next time, you take care. Bye for now.